Hey guys, I'm Brian. And I'm Terry. And we are back out here today. We're going to run some pecs. Yes, sir. Finally got that line trenched up for the houses and we got a 300 foot roll of pecs one, back there. One inch pecs. We yep. want to, it's a three quarter line out there at the road. They call it five eighths, but it's three quarter. Yeah. I don't understand it. I just accept it. We picked up some PVC to put over the pecs. We have a potential driveway going eventually to a shop or barn or something, and it's gonna cross over the pecs. We so, see a building in the future. It's over there. Yeah. So we're gonna shield it with this, just a little added protection, even yeah. though we're three feet down. Yeah. We only needed to be six feet for the frost no, line. Six well, inches. Six, yeah. We only need to be six inches for the frost line here. Yeah. And we went about three feet or two and a half. So yeah. Some we're of plenty good. When, you, when you're going downhill and then you go into an uphill, it goes way deep if you don't raise yeah. it up as you do that. Yeah. So there's a few places that got deep. Yeah. Yeah. One thing we do want to bring up is this is our plumbing toolbox. We have any specialty tools go in their own toolbox. Paint has its own thing, plumbing, electrical. Everything's got its own area of storage. The key factor here is when you get something out of this box, you put it back in that box when you're done with it because if it ends up in another box or somewhere else, you can't find it. So that's the purpose in this box is to keep all yeah. the plumbing stuff together. We're the tool gurus here. <laughs> We've got all kinds of stuff to do, all kinds of things. There's not much we don't do. So It really helps as far as organization and finding stuff to have its own box and that's where it stays. Right. And some things are used in multiple areas. Well, we just have to go dig that out of that box to use it. But yeah. For the most part. Yep. Plumbing's plumbing. Yeah. Paint's painting. That's it. All that kind of good stuff. <laughs> well, let's get to laying some pipe. Yep. <laughs> yep. So we got this trench down close to the service at the road. And this would be our water main. Our water meter's in there, cut off. Um, we got as close as we could safely get to this. Now we're gonna have to dig this little bit right here. And uh, actually we might try and turn it so we can get straight into this thing and get connected to the water lines in here. Well, we'll show you that in a little bit. But anyway, we got some digging to do. So let's get this thing dug out. This is a, we had a temporary water line up here. I guess you might've saw our, our video while back this is still hooked up so we got to get it cut loose in there and run the new line let's go ahead and dig, dig this thing up brian okay Like we got this hole straightened out and cleaned up and uh, we are going to find into the fight there it is first off do not cut this plastic loose this is 300 foot of one inch pex that's going to want to go <laughs> if you if you cut that plastic off so we're going to roll it out of there and drop it in this hole i'm going to see if i can't plug this hole up Try and keep dirt out of our water line. That looks like that's going to do it. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Not sure how this is going to work out. Um, one thing, we had the trencher. Well, the way it came down this trail, we needed to straddle those two water lines to get as close as we possibly could. That's why we trenched that way because that gave us the ability to straddle that trenchers offset the actual trenching portion the chain from the tracks so he had to straddle that which kept this trencher off to one side that's why we had to do this hopefully we can make that bend if not we'll have to straighten it out but we didn't want to come up there and then turn straight into that box it would be hard to make the connection into the city water line so we're coming around here and shooting straight in there and yes I said city water line we're in the county but in this area 
city water's everywhere. If you got water, it's city water. Don't ask me why. I don't make the rules. I just live by them. <laughs> Let me hold that. Yeah, hold that down there. And we need more than... There you go. I can stand on it. Okay, I'm going to stand on this. There you go. Now we're cooking. Uh-oh. Little froggy. Hold that up. Got it. Dad's going to save a frog or Rusty. step on it. No. <laughs> He's going to get away from his ways going down. Come on, little guy. Ooh. Everybody's rescuing dogs and cats. I rescue frogs and lizards. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get this thing rolled out. I'll just say, this isn't going to be fun. Maybe a little bit, but not too much. The plus side is we're running water for our houses. Yeah. Now that end, we don't want to trap down yet. Uh, well, there's a rock we missed. We don't want rocks against our water line. So... Dirt. Gotta make sure. Well, that's gonna bend right down through there, no problem. Let's roll it. <laughs> we need a third need person. A third hand. Do any of you guys want to volunteer to come help us with this? <laughs> Down there to make it. Oh, we got more than enough, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, throw some dirt on it. Whew. That's all I got to say. Whew. Think we need that much? I don't think it's a bad thing to have. It's more than we need, but it gives us something to work with. Who? How's that look? Plenty. Good and plenty? Yep. Lock that into that root right there. Okay. Now. Now I'm not going to use the shovel yet, right yet. I want to hold that down. Bury it. Keep an eye out for rocks that just fell in there. Alrighty. Now, just for now, we'll get that thing tamped down. Just to hold it in place. We're leaving that end loose because we need to work it into that box over there later when we hook it up. And you'll see that in a little bit. Put a little more dirt on there just so it doesn't pull out. I think that should hook it down. Now, let's look and see is it laying on the bottom? Pretty much, isn't it? Yeah. Keep your eye on that hole and make sure there's no rocks down there. Yep. Every now and then, if you don't mind. I'll do it. <clears throat> this is going to be the trick. Are we going to make this corner? Yes, we will. Okay. Here, I'll roll this. Why would you want to do that? I'll try to help. Oh, that's so much easier. <laughs> it's hard to film you this way, though. Well, don't do it, man. I'm good. Okay. Hold on. You getting me to see how this is? Yep. Okay, let me get caught up with you. You have to spin it. That's the thing. Here, stand and hold this, and I'll roll a bunch. That'd be trick. There we go. You got it? Yep. Hold that.
We ain't real bright sometimes, but we figure things out eventually. This is actually working to my favor, having this loop here, because it's helping me drop that down in there and push it down. You know? Yep. And keep it out of the dirt. This kind of happened by accident, having this loop, but it's really helping me not drag this dirt in. I've got this loop in the air. Maybe some intelligent plumber out there will learn something from us. <laughs> Doubtful. Man, that's going ten times easier having that loop. You got that right. Okay, you want to hold up right there and I will hold it again? I can do that. Okay. Here we go. Give me that. Got it. got it. Dirt in my gloves. That's always fun. He's learning as he goes. Put your foot on it, hold it in place, and roll it out. I gotta say, that's a mighty fine way of doing that. It worked. And here's the thing. The plumbers I've talked to said that this pipe was gonna be going all over the place, and it was gonna be a struggle, and you're gonna have to put dirt on it ever so far to keep it down well we made our hole pretty level we kept a close eye on that took our time there's a few places that it rolls but I haven't had to do just that one on the end to hold the end down it's going all the way and this I think is the key leaving that one loop to feed it you know around and over top of that dirt and that's another thing they said you're gonna be knocking dirt all in the hole it's gonna be a battle zero battle we learn quick <laughs> but anyway uh, let's get it done <laughs> Almost got it run. Then it's just a matter of connecting and burying. Yep. My goodness, look at that. Who the man? You the man. That is amazing. <laughs> Especially what I was told, man. Crazy. Ooh, big rock. Don't want that bad boy down there. No. Oh. Big rock. Roots. I'll hold it for you. You're a good boy. I wish I had a, a twin so I could hold or he could hold and somebody else could help roll. There you go. He's working on it. Here we go again. Sadly, we have to pull this back out of here to run our conduit. Oh, that's right. Right here, we're going to do conduit from there to there. Yeah. Let's leave it out. Okay. Well, we got to get close. Let's lay it in there. Pull it back out. We want to make sure we got the right length before we cut it off. Yep. His little roly-poly method there is amazing. That works so well. He's not knocking any dirt in the hole, and he's literally just keeping forward pressure on the roll and rolling it in the hole. Okay. So we need a cutter. Cutters coming at you. Getting some PEX cutters or tubing cutters. 
and a paper towel out of our handy dandy plumbing box. Have to use both hands to tear the paper towel. Let's do this. Why are you holding it out like that? <laughs> to hand it over to you. Wow. That thing chews that right up. And I'll trade you. Now we've got to put all that conduit on this PEX to go under the driveway that will eventually be here. So our drive's coming this way. And then we're going to turn off of that and probably shoot right through there. So we're going to have conduit all out in that area where we could possibly be crossing. About a 50 foot of conduit there. So 50 feet of conduit should definitely cover the space that we may have a driveway, which we know will have a driveway there at some point, just not sure exactly where it's going. So, and the conduit's just a sleeve to protect the pipe. When you drive, you'd be amazed how much the ground moves. You can really tell it if you're on a construction job and a dozer goes by because it vibrates the ground. You could be in a, in a house working and it's literally just vibrating. So uh, any traffic is gonna cause a certain amount of movement in the ground. We buried this thing deep, no chance of a problem. But we don't want to have to dig it up later, so we're going to run this. It's electrical conduit because it's cheaper, and it'll protect this pipe if it gets crunched or rocks on it or whatever. And that's where if a rock's on a piece of pipe and it's laying there, and you drive over and it's constantly vibrating, eventually it's going to saw its way through. All right, well, let's get this, let's get this pipe out of the dish first. Okay. Yeah. Let's take it and keep it up and out. We're going to lay it over here as we go. Yep. We'll go all the way down here, but we're not going to run a conduit. That's good right there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's here goes the, the first right stick. There. By the way, we're not going to glue this conduit. We're just going to slide it on here. Oh, okay. Hold that. I am. Whoopsie-doo. I got this. There we go. It's working out really well. One second. Might as well bring one with me. Oh. Okay. That Here, that's 30. I'm gonna hold this. Will do. Thank you. Take one. Oh, 
Looks like 40 is going to do it. Okay. So. Okay, for those of you that don't know much about conduit or haven't really used it, uh, you've got a two inch overlap right here. Which they call a bell. Yeah, they call it a bell. And it is a sleeve that goes over the preceding piece of pipe. And so it's, And it's about, that's two to three inches long. And you would normally put glue on it. We don't need glue. We're not going to put it on there. Once you push them together and it's underground, where can it possibly go? Nobody's going to be messing with it. It's not going anywhere. Right. Okay. So now that's good to go. So you guys know how we do things. We think about it and then we don't do it and like, ah, let's go ahead and do it. So we got this extra stick of conduit. We're going to go ahead and put it on there. It's not going to hurt anything to have it. It'll give us a little more coverage should we decide to run our driveway a little different location. Further up this way or whatever. Yeah. Couple dollars for a stick of conduit, it's worth it. Well, six fifty for a stick of conduit. Was it? Six fifty a stick. Let's take it all back. <laughs> okay, bring it on. Okay. Okay, as you can see, conduit is all the way down on the pipe. It's all connected. Now we're going to shift it down just a little bit. And this is kind of a sharp angle to the drive, so we wouldn't go any further than this. We're not going any further than that because we have a transformer and our water connections are going to be right there. This is a good spot, don't you think? Yep. See if I can help you some. And we drop it back in this hole. I'll hold it here. You can. I think that's far enough that way, don't you? Yeah. Where's the conduit laying up there? Okay, yeah. That's Let me head up here. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to see if I can help Dad grab this into the conduit. Ooh, hold on. Microphone cable. I tell you, these microphone cables will be the death of me yet. <sighs> Yep. Got it where you want it? Yep. <laughs> Him fall down the hole, go boom. <laughs> As, what's his name, uh? As Ric Flair would say, Woo. and Dad gets that quite often, the water line is run. Now we just got to make connections and yep. completely bury. Okay, so we're gonna go down through here and this pipe's in the bottom of the trench. But when you're running this trencher, the ground's doing like this. So when you're up on a hill, it's pushing it down in the ground. Then you come over that hill, it's pulling up out of the ground. We want that pipe to be at the bottom of that trench, which mm -hmm. is doing this. Well, it tends to wanna to be straight, so it's gonna be flexed in some places. We don't wanna leave a big hole under the pipe and throw dirt on it and then have that settle and put stress on that pipe later on, especially if roots get in there, if there's any rocks around it, which we hope there's not. So we're gonna be really careful to try and not knock any rocks in there for the first few inches. And we're gonna take a sledgehammer and tamp it down so it pushes that pipe. And we'll start on that end and get it down tight and work our way up here so that if it pulls, it'll keep pulling it this way and it's not buried up this way. So it'll keep pulling it mm -hmm. the direction we need it you know, to go mm -hmm. until we've got, gotten it completely buried. And we're probably talking a couple inches if it moves any. Yeah. Probably overkill, but we like to make sure things are done right and just do it once and be done with it. Yep. So anyway, let's get it.
The sun is going down and we are going home. Home? Home. Home? We're not done. T phone. I can't even say home, my mouth's so full of the dirt. <laughs> we we've done all we can do for the day. It's been a long day between having to run and get stuff and we are really overkill on packing this hole. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. We don't want rocks against that line and have it cut through yeah. it. And next year, 10 years from now, 20 years from now. It's a steady slope from up where the houses are down to the road. Well, water takes a path of least resistance. And if we don't pack that well, we're going to have a three foot deep trench all the way to the road. Exactly. <laughs> so we're a little overkill on it. We've, uh, we've packed up to the corner. Hopefully nobody sees the trench and decides to steal 300 foot of pecs tonight. Yeah, I would cry. I would too. That's a lot of work. So we're hiding it and we will finish when we get back out here. Hopefully tomorrow we can get out here and finish up. And yeah. uh, It's been tough. Yeah. It's a lot of work. Yes, it is. <laughs> All we lack is we're going to snip that line off coming out and take that out of here so it's not visible and throw some brush over this and just kind of hide it. And I don't think I don't think anybody's gonna come out here and bother. There's no. very little traffic on this road. Yeah, so we should be okay. Yeah, but I think we're gonna call it a night and try to go get some food. Yeah, we'll we'll do the hookup in the morning. Yeah, we'll, we'll just start a new video because this this thing's getting long. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of work. Yeah, we didn't want it to take this long, but it's taking this long. Yeah, so. ideally, and I thought about this already, but we didn't do it. Um, if we had a big pile of sand up here, we could have got our tractor get some buckets of sand, mm -hmm. come down here and put about four inches of sand on that pipe all the way up through there and just throw the dirt in there and not worry mm -hmm. about it. But as it is, we're pushing it down in there carefully and we've picked up multiple rocks, anything from small to good size, mm -hmm. that have landed right on that pipe. If that had got tamped down in there, which I hate to say it, most plumbers wouldn't take the care to look what's going on. They just throw the dirt in there and mm -hmm. go, because I've watched them. There's some good ones out there, uh, but there's also some that don't care so much. Mm -hmm and uh <clears throat> excuse me i've been breathing a lot of dust uh you know we're just we're going that extra mile this yeah. is our place and we want it to last yeah we're getting water we're going we can wash up up there when we get this job done that's <laughs> yeah. gonna be nice i think i'm gonna put a shower in yeah so we can take a shower out here of course it's gonna be winter time now you're gonna be cold yeah uh we have been working very hard to get ahead with everything that we're doing in our life so hopefully now that fall is coming on We've been talking about it for a long time. We're hoping to get some foot and some foundations in here soon. Not real, real soon, but pretty soon. And get started building. And you guys should hopefully, aside from a few jobs we know we've got coming up that are going to take us here and there for a few days or a week, you should start to see a lot of videos coming from us. Yeah, a bunch. So we're going to get rocking and rolling. And when you're done watching them, you're going to be able to buy your own piece of land and build your own little homestead. That's it. Maybe. <laughs> My arm's falling off. Okay, let's go. You guys have a good one. We'll catch you later. See ya.